Castlevania 3 challenges. I saw him also trying to do... He was trying to 1cc all the Wily Wars games. Was that right, Vance Bayless? But yeah, man, that was that was a crazy personal best there. Saw Dracula, I couldn't I couldn't be happier. Yeah, so that's basically just what we're gonna have to. Let's change the controls here real quick. Basically we're gonna have to have a run just like that. And just imagine that I didn't get damaged in the in the first phase of Dracula. We probably could have used the the special on the second phase and the third phase. The third phase has three phases in itself. Wily Wars 1cc is a success. Did you did you do the Wily Tower too? Like the fourth thing? Because there's like a bonus there that's apparently unique to Wily Wars only. Dude, major GG on that dude. Mega Man 3 is one of the on Wily Wars is one of the games I'm working on right now. Because I, I, I beat the first two. The first one was a request. The second one I, I did first actually on Wily Wars by choice because everyone said to start off with the second one. Which I can see why they would say that honestly. It's a little bit more approachable and I think it's more structured. The, the way the boss rush for example works on the first one is just so weird dude. To me it didn't make any sense. It was just so random and then like eventually you had a mirror match and stuff and then they finished the boss rush after you even fought some Wily bosses. It was just odd. It was a really odd choice of how they designed everything. I did like the first Mega Man game though. I just thought that the second one was just pound for pound a better game. Seemed like they, they you know, did everything right. The third game is interesting because it seems, it seems even more approachable than the second one. It definitely picks up in difficulty though on the clones, dude. That's that's kind of where I got stuck last. Nice. You you did the Wily Tower too? How how was that? Was that was that cool? Cuz like I said, it's supposed to be like a unique thing. Like they had some like, you know, like cool unique bosses or anything, you know what I mean? I'm curious about it. Because I imagine, yeah, if you get good enough at Mega Man 1 to 3, you can probably just run that, right? And then just, yeah, get to the Wily Tower. If you have the original cartridge, which I think they only make for Mega Drive only, unless you get a replica, you might be able to get a high quality replica of it. But the game was never released on the Genesis itself, so. You cannot get an official Genesis copy of it if you're trying to get something with like a, you know, like a save, save function. Which those are games I usually tend to stay away from anyways. Oops. sitting on 42 there. Once again, for all you Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy fans out there. Right, Tower's nifty because you really get... you get to show off your cre creativity. What do you mean by that? Sh show off your creativity. Okay, we want to just bait this guy in here. Yeah, if we just stay on the stairs right there, we'll just take him out easy. Like I said, with this part, part right here, it's just kind of a gimme. Get that mirror right there and take that guy out. And again, here, here's a, here's a really good farming spot if you want. Demonstrated this before, you just go right back down the stairs. Grab that one. 
just like that, you can have a whole a whole bunch of gems really quick. No, you can you can continue farming there. I'm not going to. We we won't we won't be needing that many. There are a few more here, and let's grab the wall meat. It's here too. So we can use the health. Thank you. Okay. Alright, now there is a 1-up up here. We don't need it, but we're going to grab it. It's possible at some point, too, that that could be a, one of the... One of the weapon upgrades. No special there. He probably could have probably could have gone back in farmed for it, but it's all good. Shouldn't really need to do that. Nice. <laughs> How about you? All right, we'll call the draw. Guy was no match for us. Alright, so far so good. Honestly, like I said, you can die on that level. On the like I said, almost in the almost in the right at the beginning. Nice, there it is too. Okay, so again, the, the Taurus demons are one of those enemies where you can strike them twice with the whip. And I'm not sure if this works for Eric. And if it doesn't, that'd be a serious advantage for John, because as you can see, I'm just taking these guys out what looks like a single strike. It's actually a double strike, I'm just holding the attack button down for longer than just doing this hold it down like that and it lasts just a microsecond longer there you go and what that allows us to do especially because we have the upgrade is it takes those guys out and what looks like just a single bound what's up mr figgy how you doing how's your night treating you so far nice Had to be careful of the energy spheres here. Now there is an extra life right above us, and if we were trying to get that, I would have moved completely differently there, but we are not trying to get that, so. Yeah, Mr. Figgy, welcome in. Hopefully, hopefully you're having a great night. We're once again playing some Castlevania Bloodlines Deathless here. We made it all the way to Dracula tonight. So I'm pretty stoked about that. I said we're sitting on a current personal best at Dracula. I couldn't get any closer. Unless we got to the third phase, of course. Only got to the second phase. But I'm I'm not ashamed of it. We're, we're getting close. That much is true. So a few things to work on, like the death fight. It's mainly the fight with death itself. That's that's really the only thing we need to work on there. Whoa, easy now. Okay, gotta make sure. Too close. There you go. See you later, dude. Yeah, he didn't even make it on the screen. I said, I have a, I have a good system with the second one. It's always the first one. That, that's the one that can be a problem. Now 
Nice, okay. So let me just bait this one out. Okay, watch it, watch it. Ooh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. A little too close there. Good avoidance there. I can probably do the same thing here. Yeah, there you go. Nice. All right, keep on moving. Here we go. It's a good way to kick off October. Yeah, I, I agree, right? We have been working on this here for more than, you know, well over a month now. Like I said, this is... But, I mean, to be fair, we're, we're only playing this once a week, so... Like I said, I think today actually marks the about the second month starting this one. But again, it's only been... It's only been once a week, so... It's... It's tough to say like that, you know. That's that's kind of one thing that I like about these challenges is it's kind of nice to designate them just to a single day of the week. That way you can be like, yeah, I'm just going to dedicate that 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 whole day each week to to this particular challenge until we take it down. So yeah, if we move close enough, there you go. I wasn't close enough last time to get them both, and one of them ended up hitting me, and I lost the upgraded weapon right there. Nice, okay. okay careful now. Okay, so if you stand in the right place there when you cast the the special sub weapon right there, it won't hit the the platforms, and that's what I was trying to avoid. Yeah, it's all good that we missed that gem. We have a lot of gems right now. We're about to get a lot more right here. I, I do not want the the axe. Let's skip that. These guys do their thing. Go, 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 go. Okay. All right, here we go. And again, this guy shouldn't hit me at all with the strategy that I have. Okay. so far here. This day is to Ghostbusters, this day is Castlevania. Oh, we beat Ghostbusters. Yeah, I was able to take that one down last Monday. Cool game, honestly. Nice, okay. Didn't get hit there. Yeah, Ghostbusters for Genesis, I would definitely recommend that. As a, as a cool game, like I said, it kind of, and other people said it too, it kind of has like a Contra, some Contra elements, some Gunstar elements. And the, the upgraded the upgrade elements are pretty cool in that game. I like that aspect of it. How basically if you if you did well enough and if you explored a little bit, then you could get you could get funds to where you could actually get some some seriously powerful upgrades, which was cool. And the and the Ghostbusters on Master System was like that, right? You could you could buy upgrades if you did well enough, and they were powerful, so.
Like there was there was one point when I was playing that one where I I, I bought the best card just to see how it was, and it was it was pretty overrated, honestly. It's better to spend money on other stuff in that game. Oops. I just accidentally picked up the X. That's not what I wanted. It's okay. Still have the upgraded whip here, so. As you can see, we're just gonna absolutely decimate those guys. Nice. Oh gosh. Nice. Yes. The harpy flew straight into that, dude. We got lucky there. Okay, let's get moving. Yeah, like I said, if you if you move correctly there, you position yourself correctly. Oh gosh, what a dodge. Did you see that? Then the th that 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 little eye watch that's following you won't hit you. It's kind of crazy. Okay, so here what you need to do, like I said, is you need to do like the the long. Ooh, he hit me though. Crap. That's a shame, yeah. Because we were about to get the there's there's an axe right there, so we were about to get the the crystal ball back there. It's all good though. It's all good. Lots of candles coming up. Biggest thing is the damage because we do not have a way to to heal at all in this level. So we need to be careful not to take any damage. We're already taking a little bit, but we still have plenty, so we just need to hang tight. gems and the candles and such here as we go is a good idea. Just gonna try to get the upgrade along the way. And that is an axe, so we're cool getting that one. Okay, keep going. Try not to take out any candles like that if you can help it. Just because it could be the... Could be a special and we don't want to waste it. If that is the case. Okay, so, so far it doesn't look like we've seen it. Yeah, so again, those guys, you can, you can double hit with your whip. You see, see how I hit him twice? On the first go there. Duck, duck. Okay. So you can bait these guys out. I want to the one out. There he is. Okay, so... Now we're going to have the gargoyles. Ooh, missed that one. It's okay. It's okay. We are looking okay right now. Ourselves up on, on here. Okay, we can just take those guys out easily with the axes. As long as we just jump up, you won't even get a chance to wind up on us. Oh, 
Uh oh. Yeah, I ended up missing that guy. Nice, okay. No special there. Ooh, okay, man. I was hoping that we were gonna get it right before the boss. Nope. It's definitely a trippy level, Mikey Jumpsuit. And paired with the. Paired with the. Kind of like the eerie OST to this game that it already has. Like I said, you know, this this soundtrack almost sounds like Bach wrote it or something, right? And the when you beat a level, it almost sounds like the end of the overture to Tokata in, in E minor. Try to bait out his shots and just use our axes here for our advantage. So instead of paying attention to him, I was just paying attention to his projectiles. Nice. Okay, second phase. Like I said, stay in the middle for this phase, dude. Because then if he hits you, you're not going to get knocked off the tower. If you hang out on one of the sides and he hits you, that's when he's gonna knock you off the tower here. All right. 04, here we come, all right, okay. Looking pretty good so far. Still a lot that, that, that can go wrong though, so we, we cannot com get complacent. That's kind of how deathless runs work. You don't wanna, you don't wanna <laughs> ease yourself into a false sense of security. The OSTs are probably my favorite parts of Castlevania series. Yeah, it does seem like they 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 just tend to have a a good OST as part of it. Does Castlevania 2 have a good OST? Cuz that one that one's like the Metroidvania one, right? We have to like go back and forth and you know, get different items to get yourself through the game. I've never, ooh, gosh, okay, I did not want to get that. It's all good. Should be okay, honestly. It's not gonna make any difference in this part, that's for sure. Because I, I would not want to cast it right there. If anything, it actually might make this part a little easier as far as the gems go. There is five right there, we're already at to max. There's also some wall meat right there too, so if you take damage right away, then you can get some wall meat. But that's the only place that there's any wall meat in this level for for John that is, so I don't I don't know about Eric. I cannot confirm that. Simon's quest? Is that what it's called? It sounds right. Because I know that Castlevania 2 on Game Boy is called Belmont's Revenge, because like I said, I, I was able to play a little bit of that when my PS4 was still working, because I had the Castlevania Anniversary series. So I was able to, to play that game a little bit when somebody requested it. I did not beat it though, unfortunately. No, easy. Be careful not to throw yourself off the conveyor belt there, dude. I almost did right there. When I first tried this run Deathless, that was my personal best right there. I actually threw myself off that said conveyor belt that I was just talking about. Okay, let's bring the other platform in plain sight here so that we can reduce the chances of us getting crushed. And this one, this part right here can get rough. So yeah, let's just wait, just wait for it, be patient here. Otherwise, like I said, it's gonna turn you into a squeeze hit, dude. All right, we have more than enough gems here and we're going to spare no expense whatsoever.
Nice. Did you see that? I was able to take out the guy above us and the guy below us. Oh, didn't mean the item crash there, but it actually worked out pretty good. Uh, I'll take it. Nice. What's this? Okay, nope. All right, we should be coming up on the axe right up here. Yes, there it is. All right, let's bring the ghost out. Cool, okay. Fiver there. Take that guy out there. You can get the gem on the way out. Okay, here we go. It's, it's time for Frankenstein here. There you go. Alright, now, now comes the tough part. Yeah, this part of the level is crazy. Check out that background though with all those cogs. That's so cool, dude. Okay, so now if you move in the correct place here, there you go. Get all of them. Ooh, I accidentally got the... <laughs> Uh-oh, I accidentally got the... Oh, I got hit. Oh, that's bad. I accidentally picked up the holy water there. Yeah, I think that's what threw me off there, why it forced me to take a hit, but it's my own fault. Boils down to it, it's all my own fault here, so we're gonna have to probably pick up the boomerang right here, honestly. Yeah, I was thinking of getting in the anniversary series for Switch. Yeah, wait till it goes on sale, dude. They, they, it goes on sale all the time, you'll be able to get it for like five dollars or something. So I, I think it's 20 is what they usually sell it for. I was able to get it for five for one of their sales. They had a sale for the Contra Anniversary Series and the Castlevania Anniversary Series at the same time. And yeah, they were both $5. So I was able to snag them both for 10 in total. It was awesome. But like I said, unfortunately my PS4 died some time back. It was about a year and a half ago or something. But it's all good. That thing, that thing did its time. Hitting this guy is going to be a little bit tough, but we'll be able to do it. There you go. Not looking terrible here, honestly, dude. We, we, we should be able to take this guy down, going to level five. Ooh, easy now. Miss him somehow there. Interesting. Yeah, we got him. Nice. He, he hit me once, but it's okay. Like I said, it's kind of difficult to avoid a single hit from this guy. He'll, he'll usually hit you at least once. It's just kind of the way he is. Like I said, he just has all these random attacks and he's all spastastic. He like changes his height as it, 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 if you can see that he'll like change his height he'll, he'll start off where the where the weakness is here and then he'll go he'll, he'll start to where he's like ducking down right 
to where, to where eventually he's like crouched. So you have to follow said pattern, you know, in order to, to hit him. Yeah, that, that's not really going to affect me much. They picked up the holy water right there. We have a battle axe that's coming up, so... Yeah, just don't get hit by hit by those. You're good. There we go. All right, let's wait for the inverted controls to wear out there. All right, this is where the fountain's going to turn red with blood here. Yeah, that part is way too cool. Okay, we're oh, nice. We have a special, huh? Good timing there. Okay, cool. Doing pretty good here. Watch out for the chandeliers. You must move the coffin or the chandelier. Now, for John here, when, when you have a fully upgraded whip like this, you actually don't need to, to duck down to destroy those. You see that? You can just stand at normal level and just hit him. Like I said, because, because John also has that double attack, I, I'm curious if Eric has that. Like I said, you can just melt him, dude. Yeah, definitely, I would say, get get the Anniversary Series for both Contra and for the Castlevania. Nice. That was totally worth it. Okay, so again, we got these guys here. It's kind of a timing thing, so hopefully we get it right here. I think we do, and it's also kind of where you want to position yourself relative to where the dragons are. Cool. Okay, so we're gonna have the brewery here. There's some wall meat behind us there, so we'll just leave it in case we actually need it, in case one of these guys hits us. Right there, I did that on purpose to get that mirror. Yeah, nice. Get out of there. I don't want to mess with that skeleton, dude. I'm good. Ooh, easy now. See if we can hit that gargoyle before we jump on there. There you go. Try to get a head start here. Be careful. So I'm cutting it, cutting it close right there. Yeah, if you do it right, then the gargoyles won't hit you at all. Ooh, that was close. We're good though. Okay. Another sub boss coming up. All right, here comes the hallway of death. Looking pretty good here. Now with the boomerang. I just wanted to reveal it was there. All right, we're looking pretty good here, dude. 
if we can bring the the upgraded weapon into the Yanis fight as a huge deal. Because we can basically just bait out his projectiles and then just shoot them all down. Easy fight. Yeah, John's special is make those things toast, dude. There you go. I said, dude, if you have the if you have the the crystal ball sub weapon there, dude, it just melts that guy. Makes that fight so easy, dude. All right, we're gonna we're, we're definitely gonna see level six again. We have seventy four, maybe seventy five. Yeah, seventy four. Melted, dude. Nice. <laughs> Definitely got lucky there, dude. I just, I just, I just guessed all the right moves. We, we just melted Mothra there, though, dude. Like, like a moth to the flame. Back to level six. Castle Prosperpina or Prosper? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Proserpina. Now, the this part can be just a little tricky at first, just because of the crows. So take out the crows, and then from there we're just gonna duck. Not gonna mess around with that. That just gave us a fiver right there too. And we'll have plenty. Of, okay, so once again, if you want to know my trick here for getting past this part, I basically watch John's feet. That's all I pay attention to. Here we go. Just put him on the edge of the platform. I got the Medusa head. Same thing here. I kind of, I kind of just rinse and repeat. Let's wait once again for the Medusa head. Again, watch the feet. Okay, there's a staircase there, be careful. Beautiful. I said, I don't really have have trouble with that room. And it's because I do that strategy. Okay, this, this part can be a big problem, though. We took a few hits there, it's okay. There'll be the wall meet before death, and maybe we can get lucky with our with our drops here and get the get the special weapon. So for this part, to avoid taking too much damage here from this guy, I'm basically gonna throw that throw that that direction, and then attack the other direction. Wasn't perfect, as you can see. Oh, I accidentally picked that up, okay. That's fine. 
That can also work. As I said, we, we picked up a decent amount of candles, so we can just do this again. Smokey over the line, what's going on? How you doing? And there are four candles right here, so the farming will be even quicker. Yeah, how you doing tonight, Smokey? Dude, we, we, we made it to Dracula earlier, dude. Yeah, we, we've already had a personal vest. I made it to second phase of Dracula, to be exact. I would have liked to, see, to have seen that third phase, but... I'm just stoked that we were able to see that, so... But yeah, how you doing tonight, dude? Hey, maybe, you know, you know. I like to try to stay positive, so, you know, and always think that, that the possibility could be there. Let's try to... Yeah, I want to do this fight first. This fight just so, I mean, just with the tower and everything, it always kind of makes me nervous. As, as well it should. Okay. You just need to repeat that. Nice. Okay. Again, stay in the center. Stay in the center. Yo, Eater of Worlds, what's going on? How you doing, dude? Yes, okay. Yeah, that fight, like I said, it always kind of makes me a little nervous there, so... Alright, now I say we do the clockwork fight, and then, yeah, we save the water boss for last, like I said, because he won't, he won't hit me. And then, you know, obviously in a perfect world, get the wall meet after all that. There you go. Oops. That also works, because you do have to deplete those. Yeah, we can bait that, bait out that other shot there too. No problem there. There you go. All right, now let's go fight Clockwork. Ridio, what's going on? How you doing? Hey, thanks for the GG there. I appreciate it. Yeah, like I said, we, we, made, we managed to get to Dracula, so... And I, I didn't do terrible on the first phase, but he did hit me, and he, he took out my... He took out my fully upgraded weapon. But yeah, everyone, please make sure to follow Ridio. They, they recently... Oh yeah, you can follow the Tower of their Ear Worlds, 100%. Yeah, R Ridio recently took down Castlevania 3, Sypha only, using the staff, no magic, which was crazy, dude. Yeah, GG once again on that, Ridio. And thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. You're doing real good, you took to your son to the arcade tonight, Smokey. Nice, awesome, dude. You can go nuts on some pinball, excellent. I bet that was a good time. Yeah, glad to hear that you got to enjoy some, some much in your family time there. Yeah, I, I gotta imagine taking your kid to the arcade has gotta be a blast, because it's something that's fun for them, but it's also super fun for you, too. And you can just, you know, go crazy, you know. And no one's gonna look at you twice, you know, in, not that I would care anyways, but some people get self-conscious about that, but it's like you're in an arcade, so you can have as much fun as you want. And there we go, okay, 66. Looking at gems here, okay, like I said, the water boss won't touch me, because uh, I have a strategy for him. And then we'll, yeah, then we'll have the, then, then we'll have the wall meet and that's it. And then we'll fight, fight death here and we'll ha have the special, like I said, because this guy won't touch me. So you can just hug the left wall here and he will not touch you. Good start. You believe you'll get it tonight? Hey, thanks, Reedy. I appreciate that. I appreciate your folks' support and, and your belief that we can get this. You know, it's like I said, I think this is the eighth stream with this one, so it's definitely, it's definitely taking some time, but I really enjoy this game, so it's been, like I said, it's been fun, you know, getting better at it. I can say getting good at it. I wouldn't say I'm good at this game. But at this point, experience would be, would be a better way to put it, and I could definitely probably take the game down with just, if I was just trying to beat it, you know, with extra lives or something. 
There you go, okay. I, I kind of like the color palette change right here with this boss. I'm not sure why. I, I think it just works. Especially the boss with like the silver, with, like the silver crystal ball there. It's like super cool. Okay. So we'll get the health. And yeah, I have to get better at this death fight, dude. I can't figure out how I'm supposed to dodge his, his, his diving attack. And he does like the Raiden thing on you, dude. Yeah, that right there, dude. I can't figure out how to dodge that attack. Do you, do you just like jump over it? It's okay, we can get the special back just by farming. It'll, it'll take a second, but. Yeah, it would definitely help with the Countess just because she, she, takes, she takes kind of a lot of damage. Especially with that Medusa, with that, the Medusa part of the fight, I want that to go as quick as possible. Because those, just a few of those attacks are kind of menacing, like the Tail Whip and... Like I said, if you're not, if you're not at close range when she casts those fire spells, you're kind of screwed too. You can jump over that ta attack, okay, I see. You just have to, you just have to probably time it and position yourself right. Wicked Lord Jasper is going on. How you doing? Who has an irrational feeling of falling off those stairs? No, that's that's ter that's totally legitimate. I would be lying if I if I if I said that 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 hadn't crossed my mind when I was farming for the special against Dracula. It's like yeah, I could totally fall off the stairs here, but. You just gotta believe that that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Don't look down. <laughs> Yo, Electric Snow, what's going on? How you doing? Yeah, we, we should be in close now, honestly. Should get on the next couple rounds here. It's nice that with death you get four candles because that speeds it up just a, just a little bit, you know what I mean? Yeah, we, we gotta be getting closer, dude. We're pushing, pushing max here. It's gotta be, uh, I, I was wrong about being on the next round of these, but there it is, okay. It was the, it was the round after. The following round of my guess. And Sugar Pixie was gone, how you doing tonight? You, you've been lurking Electric Snow, how's the run's been going? Dude, we, we made it to Dracula earlier, Electric Snow. I, I, I can't complain, dude. We had new personal best. Made it to the second phase of Dracula, to be exact. Yeah, new fear is unlocked. You can jump over him again at the low point. I wonder I wonder if the low point is is when he crosses the center of the room. Because maybe he moves in like just a little bit of an, of an arc. Like just, like just a little bit. Not, n not quite a, a U shape, but... Almost like they think of like a contact lens shape. Like something like that, right? <clears throat> okay. So again, it's really just kind of about getting through this first phase with her not getting hit. In order for us, like I said, to hopefully maintain the, the damage into her. Yeah, that. The, the tail whip dude, uh, that part, talk about irrational fear. I always feel like she's gonna hit me there, dude. Okay, so I'm going to stand here, right about here. Okay. The important thing is, is we, we have to make sure that, that we maintain our crouch when we attack her. Yeah, I, I did mess up there. But we made it. All's well that ends well. We're okay. Missed her again. Okay. Need to be a little bit closer in that case. 
or just at least be moving. Nice. Still got it though, but the problem is, is that it's gonna be the next attacks. So maybe stand right about here. There you go. Awesome. So two more hits. Yeah, this is this one. She gets six here, dude. Nice. Okay, this next one should only be four, right? Yeah, yeah, we made a Dracula Sugar Pixie. And second phase, too. He, he has three phases, and then the third phase has three phases in itself. All right. We shouldn't even need to do, like, any farming whatsoever here. We can just go straight into Dracula again. Yeah, like I said, if you... If you can pretty much get that first, that Medusa stage down, because she's pretty tanky in that stage, and like I said, the, that especially that first fire attack, that thing can be tricky, but if you're close and you duck, then you can almost avoid it every single time. And it helps that the second fire attack, if you're just ducking, you can also avoid that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good night, you yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna repeat that part, but... <laughs> She did bring Dra she did bring Dracula back to life, which is not good. <laughs> I will say that. No, 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 no. That's before death, Eater of Worlds. That's like right before death, where the Monty Python Knight comes back, <laughs> comes back to get you. All right, let's take another blast here before we before we go and fight Dracula. Like I said, we shouldn't even need to farm here. But there'll be some candles, so... It's just gonna be really about positioning ourselves for that first phase, and then hopefully we'll be able to get through him, and then we can use the special on the second on the second phase there, and hopefully I'll make that more easier. No, I, I don't think she started it, Eater of Worlds. But I haven't read the synapses, so, you know. I will say that. Yeah, I, I don't think she does that. There, there, I think there is something, but I don't, I don't think she does. <laughs> I, I, I don't think she had a hand starting it. But yeah, I, I think that's why you end up at the in the munitions factory. Okay, here we go. Man, that chandelier is so crazy looking. Okay, so yeah, again, we kind of want to be like a like not quite the full whip slank, but something like that. Dang it. Ooh, okay. Got me there, yeah. That's sort of like what happened last time, but it was but I was too close. So there I wasn't close enough. But I think that hit there. This is just about perfect. I definitely do not have the weapon of choice here for this. Oh gosh. Oh, I missed her. Missed her, missed him. Do not have the weapon that I want here. What is it again? Like if you stand like in the center, you can duck the 
trying to remember how you duck the first the, the first attack. Yeah, it's like almost just dead center, right? So when he goes into that part right there. Crap. Oh my gosh. No. Crap. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Dude, I- oh my gosh, I think we got it! Whew. Dude, my heart is going crazy right now. <laughs> Holy absolute crap, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, we got lucky there. Oh, goodness. On that second phase, dude, I thought he had me. He was just burning me down, dude. Oh my gosh, we got lucky. Holy crap. <laughs> Yo, thank you everyone for the GG's there. My goodness, Electric Snow, Iridia, Metal, Metal Eggs, Dragon, Supra, Wicked Lord Jasper, Frodo Shield, what's going on, man? How you doing? And Dragon Supra, what's going on? How you doing? Eater of Worlds, thanks for the GG as well. Mikey Jumpsuit, thanks for the GG. Sugar Pixie, thanks for the GG. Your bros, thanks for GG. Tater, what's going on? How you doing? Yeah, dude, how close was that, right? <laughs> that was crazy, dude. Oh my gosh. The resurrection of Dracula has been averted. Whew, man. This wasn't too late in the stream either. And there he is, the Monty Python Knight, of course. I suppose we could try it as Eric now. <laughs> that, was, that was insane, dude. That was so clutch, yeah, down to the final hit. Oh, almost, yeah. I think I had two two light bars, but yeah, I think if he would have touched me, that would have been it. Even though the fact I had two light bars, I think if he, if he would have gotten me. Thankfully, that golem that golem part, where, where he's just bouncing up and down and shooting bones everywhere, is easy. That's the that's like the easiest phase of that of that third third part right there. VV do what's going on? How you doing? The lines of blood have been traced. Yeah, we got it, dude. We got the deathless. <laughs> like I said, we could take a, uh, take a break now and actually try this, Eric. We have plenty of time. Hey, Lava, thanks for the GG. I appreciate that. That's just crazy, dude. Man. On the 1st of October as well. Man, that opens up the door for for Sundays are now free. So I got to bring I got to bring something else in. Now you gotta play this game sequel? What's this game sequel? I didn't know Bloodlines had a direct sequel. Whew, man. Expert mode. What's up, Cyber Blue? How you doing? Like I said, uh, we could we could try we, we could try with Eric now and, and see what happens. Portrait of Ruin? Oh interesting, okay. It was a Nintendo DS game, gotcha. Link fan, what's going on? How you doing? Thanks for the GG, I appreciate that. And you play as Morris' son, gotcha. Okay, so it keeps it, it stays within the Morris' family. That's kind of cool. Are, are you Genesis only? We have played S Sega Master System in the past. Eater of Worlds, I, I, when, my, when my PlayStation 4 was still going, I had access to other stuff. That's how I was able to beat Contra 3, the Alien Wars, 1CC. Eric is interesting. There's some different paths, and, and he does less damage? Wait, he does less damage? I didn't think I knew that. Interesting. But he's faster. I did know that. I did know that, that, that his ground attacks go, go faster. So, like, if you're attacking the... If you're if you're attacking like the 